Ostracizing an antagonist is one of my special suits, but the thing is everybody in this story is evil. Ariadne, the MC being a pick me, Isabella being a traitor, Caesar being a man. It's like one is worse than the other. There's no moral high ground, but no, being a man is fine. Caesar is just sick and twisted. In the land of the Etruscan kingdom, the Olympics for status, Ariadne is someone who sacrificed it all for Caesar. She thought they were going to be in love. She went and poisoned a prince who wanted her and betrayed her entire kingdom for Caesar. She wants to marry him, but the kicker is this. He doesn't want to marry her. He wants to marry her sister, Isabella. Do you know how much crack you need to inhale to tell someone who did all that for you while literally being inside of you? She then proceeds to remind him, and he gaslights her into thinking, it's pretty much nothing and he has her removed from the room saying she's having an episode. She is then approached by her sister Isabella. We learn she played checkers for status and Ariadne played chess for love but her, oh! her sister wants to be a queen and she she played her cards right I'll, I'll, I'll give her that she she did but it but it gets wild uh adrian's sister wants to go the extra mile and then proceeds to say hey you know i'm gonna kick you while you're down caesar doesn't even love you because you have the shoulders of a man and your breast sits like cow udders i'm not joking that's literally what she says no one finds you attractive but then even proceeds to get wilder she's throwing her morals out there and saying men are untrustable and this and that but is like i know for a fact after a while he's gonna think of you and get sick of me so yeah let me solve that real quick shoink puts a sword straight through her like a shish kebab but interestingly enough for our protagonist this isn't where her story ends if you liked a series like marry my husband you would probably enjoy this why time travel ariadne is reborn at a young younger age before everything went south, and all we start learning about this kingdom is just how straight classist they are. You were born out of a wedlock. You were a bastard child. You were born a maid. You're gay. Like, like we learn Ariadne is born from a maid and has no formal education, and is just pulled into this kingdom life to be with her original family. That's all you are to these people, a status, and then we meet the sister who shish kebobbed her, and she's just as fake as ever, and we learn Ariadne pretty much adored her because of how perfect she was. It even interferes with some of her actions because she still adores her to an extent. So now she's playing chess. I think a fantastic moment is how Ariadne is shit talked by a maid and slaps her across the room. And she really knows how to work her set now because he gets her to get put where she used to work before. She was actually picked up to be a maid and has to encounter a sibling she abandoned and switches her spot. It's here then we learn Ariadne can see visions and how we understand the maid ditched her sister. And we meet Alfonso the prince we saw she poisoned who's actually a sweetheart. I see some people saying she should be with him. I think she should stay far away from him because she was literally willing to kill him in the other life. I don't know. I can see her personally doing it again for her own ulterior motives. I don't know. That's just me. But she can literally see what happened between someone. So she's practically a god right now. She knows what's going to happen next and she can see people's past. The only thing, however, is that because she knows everything that's going to happen and she wants to change history, small things are going to change and big things are going to change. So is she going to be able to get her revenge on these two? What intrigues me is whether or not Ariadne is going to really make the right choices in getting Isabella and Caesar back in this lifetime because we can see that she was obsessed with loving him but now she's obsessed with hating him and even says it. Is she willing to hurt innocent people in her path to make her desires true? Is this story gonna be too long for me to stop caring? I don't know. I hope not but I'm literally not rooting for a single soul in this story. I just like to see people go against each other not gonna lie to you. I'd rather root for a fly that maybe appears like two episodes and like maybe half of one you know. The story is called I'm the Queen in This Life. Make sure to leave a like, share the video, and subscribe.